Hi, welcome to how to use the full power of Google Maps. Um, I'm an Android app developer, so I've got a bit of experience using Maps and the APIs and stuff, so I'll quickly show you. So we'll go to the app trade down here, and then we go to Apps, Maps, sorry, and then Google Maps is opened. Now, Google Maps will automatically, if you've got your location turned on, it'll show you all, like it'll show you your exact location. You can press this little button here, and it'll zoom in on your exact location. So if you click there, it zooms in on your click. If you click it again, see how it's showing you the um, the coordinate, like the compass direction. So it's showing me my direction. Now, if I face the phone the way, like if I face the phone to the right, it will show me facing the right, and then it gives you a better overview. Then you can also put two fingers on the screen and move them up or down, and it will change the um, orientation of the map, like how it's looking. See how it's on the side with two fingers? Then I can zoom out with two fingers. Um, I can put addresses, so for example, say I want to go, like, search for something, so say I search for movies. Um, movies. There you go, it'll show me all the movies around in the area. It shows, like, the distance here, 750 meters, here, 900 meters, and it shows you the name and the reviews of the, the movies. And if you also minimize this down, so say I type movies, if I search for it, I can see on the map all the different movies as well. So if I pull this down, see how it's got all the different cinemas in red? This is in Austria and Vienna. Um, now, another thing you can do is you can go to the search and you can get all these pre-kind of given, so restaurants, petrol stations, chemists. So if you click restaurants, it'll show you all the restaurants around you. Um, another powerful tool is you can search for a place. So say, um, let's go to this English cinema in Aydan. And then when you click it, now you can pull up this and it'll give you a picture overview of the um, the cinema. It'll give you the distance in walking direction, the review, it'll give you the number to call to save this location on the map, to see their website. It gives you a bit of information here, their contact information, reviews, people's like reviews of the cinemas. And this is really powerful because you can look around, like see in real time all the different, for example, restaurants or cinemas, see their reviews, what people think of them. Then I can just click this little man and now it's getting me into the direction screen. So up here, what it means, it's taking me from my location to the English cinema. So I can either go by car, which will take eight minutes, and it shows me the, the route that I will take, or I can take the public transport, which is not showing you, yeah, there's public transport, or it's showing me walking distance, which is 12 minutes, um, and it tells you the walking path, which see how it's a dotted line compared to when you're driving, it's like a straight line. And the colors in these straight lines are the traffic. So if it's red, it's going to take a lot of traffic. If it's orange, it's not much traffic. If it's blue, it's polluted clear. And then here, this, this is a cool feature I use all the time. It's Uber. So I put in the location and then this destination, and then I've got the Uber options here. So I can Uber, it will be $3 to take me there by UberX, Uber Van, 9 euros, sorry, and Uber Black, which is like specialty cars, 9 to 12 euros. So if I click that, it will literally open the Uber app and start requesting, like put the location and the requesting where I want to go. So it will take me from my address to the cinema, it's going to give me a fair estimate of four euro to get there, which is really good. So I go back to this map, and then you've also got the option of the bike, um, traveling by bicycle. Um, then if I were to say click walking, I would click start, and then it'll tell me exactly where to go step by step as I move along the map. Then I can click recenter, put me back in position. Um, what you can also do is you can search for things along the route. So you could search for like ATM as I'm walking. And then as I'm walking, it's showing me all the potential ATMs along the way. And this is really powerful using Google Maps. Like if you know how to use it, you can do a lot with it. This is also the direction, like telling me the step-by-step -step if I'm walking there. Another cool feature with Google Maps is um, I can click here and I can see my places. So places that I've saved in the world, um, labeled and saved. So you can click on a place, for example, this one, and I just highlight it. And then I can click save and I can label it and call it like train station or wherever I just click, say like here we click uh, zoo. And then what I can also do is I can share my location through WhatsApp and things like this to people. Um, so I can send it to my friends and go, let's meet up here guys. Um, and then they'll be able to meet up there. So for example, uh, also another cool feature is you can, your timeline, your timeline is like a, if you have your location turned on or data, it shows you a step-by-step -step of each day. So this was yesterday. I didn't really move much. The day before I went, 5.1 kilometers, I traveled around the city a little bit, 
um, by walking. It took one hour and 40 minutes walking, 2.9 kilometers by bike ride, 25 minutes. So I traveled around the city of Vienna, and this is on the 10th of December. And you can see each day, and it's really amazing because it tracks your exact location. So you can remember where you went. What, like, so on this day, I went to this forest, went to this museum quarter. It shows you, and then you can see it takes, if you take pictures along the route, it will add those pictures to the information. Um, it's a really powerful tool just to track your where you've been or say you go to a new place you don't really need to write down addresses because you can come into here look it up so say i go to the date on the 6th and i can see exactly where i went on the 6th i can see which places i stopped at um, the exact address i can click on it and get a bit of information so like click details it's a really powerful tool this timeline not many people know about it as well so i highly recommend you use it um, test it out other options i've got is downloading offline areas so I can download um, maps so I don't need to be connected online uh, then you've got traffic lights so you can turn these options so I can turn on cycling routes um, public transport routes I can turn on satellite which will show me satellite imagery of the location around me which is a bit more data intensive but not too much then if you zoom in see how coffee shops start showing more so if I turn off satellite see how you can see all these kind of coffee shops clothing store Starbucks over here then you click on it you can click just click walk to Starbucks and then I can go to Starbucks and see all the different places in Starbucks which is also a really powerful tool I might be going to Starbucks now just to keep recording videos and have a coffee um, and then you've got tips and tricks which is explain kind of what I'm showing you um, it'll take you to Google Play and then it'll start telling you but not as good detail as me because I'm an app developer I know how people use apps and I love using apps Google Maps is really powerful like it's an amazing um, you can also put the terrain so you can see like the, the the kind of topography of the map so I can see like here like the the way the land is kind of is it high it doesn't show that well in the city because maybe it's a city so let's zoom out but you get the gist it shows you the topography like the terrain on the map um, these options take a little bit of time to load that's the only thing so if we go back to satellite you'll notice it takes a few seconds not too long then you can see like it's a amazing like you have a satellite in your hands where you can zoom in see your location around you you can like and what you can also do the way i showed you that pinch to zoom so if you put two fingers you can see like a 3d kind of environment where it kind of makes it a bit 3d like so if you tilt it you can see so this is the above view and then if you turn you can get like a 3d view um, and it shows you your coordinates up here so say the starbucks that's at that latitude and longitude um, and then I just click start walking and I go there and it will take me nine minutes to walk there. Or if I click an Uber, it will take me five, five minutes, to, four minutes to Uber with three dollars euro, three euro, sorry. So say I want to just find Starbucks from scratch. So say I open maps, it's showing me here just to recap. So I'll click Starbucks, Starbucks, and it's going to show me all the Starbucks around me. The closest one is 550 meters. So I'll click that one. And then it's pulling it up the same one. It's going to take me nine minutes to get there. It gives me a bit of a review. I can save it. I can call them. I can get a bit of information about them. Um, it also shows you the opening times. It will show you when it's the, like when it's really busy as well, which is a cool feature. So these are the opening times. These are pictures. It's not too busy right now on Mondays at this time. It gets really busy at 12 to 3 p.m. Um, people spend 25 minutes to one hour there. You get photos of the place. You get maps. It's unbelievable, this Google Maps, like how powerful this is to be able to master and use like you can do a lot with it you can plan your tr you can plan your um, places you want to go you can find places you want to go you can look around you in new areas um, you can take click i use this more to summon an uber than i use the uber app just because you can put the location easily and just click get the exact information so if i wanted to get an uber there which i will so i'll just show you how i'm going to summon uber it'll take me five minutes um and i need to get dressed because the uber is coming so i request the uber and it's going to take me five minutes and then I need to get outside to get there. Even though it's a 12 minute walk. Um, actually, I'm going to can uh, no, I was going to cancel it and just walk there. But it's too late. The Uber's coming. It's going to be there in seven minutes. Cool. I'll make an Uber video on how to use Uber next. Um, thank you for watching.